welcome back to my channel. I am back with an episode, our first episode of... The Great British... I actually forgot. The Great British Brew Off. I've got my two guests, James and Hubsy, who did a premature curtsy there. And we are going to be making, or these guys are going to be making a cup of tea. We're making teas, obviously the most dynamic and interesting thing ever. Apparently there's many ways of making tea, right? Yeah, there are. Oh, actually, one of the reasons I did want to do this is because a lot of you ask me, funnily enough, the second most asked question is, how do you make your tea? Because I feature it so much. I knew you'd ask that. It's not relevant right now. Okay. So, the <laughs> I've never had a cup of tea from you. Have I? Actually, maybe back in the uni days. There's a lot of people that you have never had tea from. And Hubsy, in my opinion, makes the best tea ever. He makes tea better than I make tea. Like sometimes, guys, I put the kettle on and I'm like, Hubsy, please, you take the tea out. He makes it in a special way. Will you tell us your secret? Is it my tea making secret or is it that you just want me to make the tea a lot? We'll never know. Okay. What we're going to do is they're going to make the tea and then once they're done, we're going to judge, I'm going to judge, whose tea tastes better but of course in the house of Amna we don't have any biases so I'm not going to know whose tea I'm tasting each of them will choose a sticker from uh, Alina's little sticker chart which comprises of stickers that say great pretty good job cute and love um, and you'll stick that under your mug I think you're right yeah, yeah I think you're right I'm going to be pretty today thank you and Habzi I think I'm going to be I'll be cute. Okay. Oh, cutie. Okay. Fabulous. Are you ready, boys? Yes. Okay. Ready? Ready to go. Let's go. Do we... Do we <laughs> uh, standing there. The first, first thing I do right. when I'm going to make tea is I get a kettle, which is this. And we have these things called taps. And if you uh, do this, or this, what comes out? That's the hot side, by the way. You don't use hot water, but you always rinse your kettle first. Right, okay. Okay. Make a switch on the kettle, the summer. I'll let you, you want to watch me do the it. Hard water. It, 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 while I choose the filtered water. Oh! Filtered water. Yeah. Fish still peeing it. <laughs> Will the fish pee make a difference? I don't think you get a fish in reservoirs, do you? Yeah. The fish don't pee. Don't they? The fish no, pee. The fish pee? Can you Google that? Can somebody off camera Google whether or not... I'm sure pee? they do. How? Because they, they release the toxins well, and it must come out... they drink the water, it comes right out of the gills. So what are they drinking? I don't know. So we've got two types of tea bags. Yeah, Boys, yeah, you can choose. <laughs> we've got English breakfast tea and we've got everyday tea. Both by Twinings. What do we think of Twinings? I think I brought my own tea bag. <laughs> what? I'm a ringer. <gasps> you had no idea. Oh, Very okay. impressive. <laughs> Fuck your spade. Oh, okay. pulled okay, the okay, tea okay, bag okay. out of the wallet. Exactly. I've, I've oh, the, uh, the tea bags are available. I've gone for the twining extra strong ones, right? Which is the brown packets, right? Now I feel like they release a lot of flavour, right? So that's what I'm going for. A lot of thought going behind this. But actually, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to put it back. Although I like that in my tea. I know who my client is, and my client likes every day. So I'm gonna go for that. I know who my client is, and if my client doesn't like this tea, she's wrong. Hot water goes on the tea bag. It's Tetley versus Twinings. Battle to the death. How much water are you putting in there? Is there an, a science to roughly this? Roughly enough to fill a cup. And what about you? I'm gonna put roughly enough to put oat milk that you like in your tea. Oh. Now I'm going to brutally interrogate the tea bag with a spoon. Is there a particular skill involved? There is an absolute skill involved. How do you stop the tea bag from bursting? Has that ever happened to you? Of course. Yeah, it's, um, it's a definite risk when making tea in this method. You think it's never going to happen to you and then one day you're making tea. And, um, sorry. This is the oat milk that we actually use. It's uh, supermarket's own brand range because I ain't posh. Tea's done. <laughs> Why have you warmed your milk up? The client does not like it cold. 
Put your finger in that and tell me it's cold. I would love to put my finger in there. Put your finger in it. No what have you warmed that up for? That's quite dark, James. Anyway, do you, do you is th- that a problem? I'm just asking. You do like you think that makes the tea better? I think um, I could make it the same colour as your makeup. Tea should be roughly the colour of He-Man's face. They're going to call me tea bae It's done. Boosh. Now, you do have the opportunity, boys, to put anything else in the tray that may help the tea experience. Oh, we've got a bit of tea leakage, guys. Oh, a bit oh, of tea settling don't around worry, the mug. Don't worry. First, I get the colour right. <laughs> What I do is I squeeze the um, juices out of the tea bag. Tell us the thought process behind your tray, James. As you can see, there was absolutely no thought process behind the tray. Only the tea speaks for itself. Uh, what are you trying to say with all those utensils? Yeah. I just wanted to see what was in your drawers, to be honest. I'm nosy. What's this? Syringe. <laughs> is that how you want me to try it? <laughs> this is how an expert drinks tea. Is that how you can drink it? Yep. Can you taste the cowpaw? Yeah, it's uh, You're gonna feel better now. it's quite Moorish. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's got a secret stash of biscuits, hasn't he? He needs biscuits, I don't. Look at the teas which she loves. We do like to dunk our biscuits. Yeah. Are you a biscuit dunker? No. Have you ever tried dunking a biscuit? I have tried and I regretted it instantly. I can well, see there's a lot of thought. now what a tea's which because of the presentation. <clears throat> What's your favourite tea? My tea is probably the English breakfast. Is it? Yeah. I do like the masala tea, but I think there's a variation in how people tend to make it. I like it with elaichi, I think. What about mint? Nah, not a fan of mint. I used to really like Chinese tea, but it took oolong to make. How confident are we feeling, boys? I can see you scoping out the other tray, Hubsy. What do you think? I think that's a very sexist tray. Oh, yeah. a sexist tray. Yeah. He's trying to say you need to go on a diet by giving you fruit. And he's put um, utensils is trying to say your place is in the kitchen. Interesting observation. James, anything to say about... He's right. He's just used processed sugars, fats, salts, all the food groups to basically... Uh, kind of put your dog you know. Bread. This is what you need. I mean, I wouldn't dunk it. Maybe you would, I don't know. Indian thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not say that? Is, that? is that somehow racist? Like, it might be. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not Indian. Okay, the moment of truth is here. By the way, we did have an update on the fish urination. Yep, yeah, um, fish do urinate, um, either through their gills or through a special gland, um, which is fortunate, you know. Is it a gland or a paw? We're going to let the fish have a rest, and then uh, we're going to have another look later on. Moment of truth is here, guys. Normally, the teas that I have are not this dark in colour. They do tend to be a little bit lighter. I don't like the tea to taste too strong. However, I haven't had tea with almond milk in a long time, so if you just... Thank you. This is real power. Get a smells good. Smells legit. Right. Didn't think smells Tetley legit. smells legit. Did not think Tetley would smell this good. It's been a long time since I had Tetley. Wow. Used to have it in the office back in the day. Tea bag on. So is there any particular way you'd like for me to? And you'd like to drink with your mouth eventually. It's very strong. The tea flavour is, is is definitely there. I can definitely taste almonds in there, which is unusual, but it's different. And I would say it's a good effort. I'm just going to say at this point, I have never ever made tea with almond milk before. Before you drink it, I'm doing some... tea, that. Tastes a bit like more lipstick. <laughs> okay, let's go. Don't you want to do it with biscuits first? Hints of mackerel. That's good. That's a good cup of tea. That's a genuine response, that is. That's a good cup of tea. I think, I think we have a clear winner here. That's good, you need to try that. Dunk. I don't hate biscuits. Since you haven't dunked. Do you really not? No. 
Even just a little? Just, just a, the camera? No. Is it because you're a vegan? Does this go against your vegan beliefs? It does, yeah. That, that biscuit was taken from his mother. Is there not... Did you guys take the tea bag out? I you did. took it out? Oh, you both did. Mm. Ah, okay. Yes. Health and safety. Did you take the tea bag out before the milk or after? That's one very commonly asked question that people ask me. Uh, I, the final the final action is removing the tea bag. Right, so you do the as it, final step. What about you? I do after brewing it to the right colour. That's, that's when I take the tea bag out so it doesn't add any more flavour to it. Wow. So it's all time to perfection. Time to perfection from our winner here. So the winner of the 2018 Great British Brew Off is Osama, aka Hubsy. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel, um, firstly, I'd like to say thank you to all my fans. Uh, I'm not prepared for this. I was not expecting to win this, right? Thanks for watching guys, click thumbs up if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys very soon. Leave me a comment and let me know what you guys want me, what you guys want these guys to cook next time. Cool. Any ideas guys? Yeah, I think we should have a, like a proper cooking thing. I agree. And what would you make? Beans on toast. <laughs> Beans on toast. So that's what a few would <gasps> Hey, anybody can boil toast, it's not a difficult thing to do. <laughs>